So mindset shifts are one of the most important things that you can do inside of self growth, right? Whether it's like self improvement, self mastery, or just putting together a product offer or service, you want to start a business, like you're really sick of your nine to five, you're really sick of the way your life is progressing. And chances are like you have some stressors, there's some things in your life that you're not really a super fan of. And you're just not vibing with a lot of the things inside of your life. And you're just carrying around a weight with you. Like it's just an anger and angst and anxiety that you just can't seem to get rid of. Um, it's really difficult to to go through things like that and see things like that. And like one of the biggest shifts that you can make inside of your mindset to, to help you un honestly get better is there's two parts that have really helped me kind of like see my way through. And I, I've talked about it really publicly on this channel about like what my hundred days of like things look like. Right. Um, it, it was funny because I was having a conversation with my girlfriend this morning about like a podcast that me and my cousin do. And I was like, you know what? Like we could do this, this and that for the podcast. And I was like, that's so crazy. Like I just thought of that out of nowhere, but like, it's such a good profound idea that like, it's actually going to make a lot of sense for the organic growth of the podcast. But one of the most important things that you could do inside of like mindset shifting, right. Is number one, you want to make sure that you get clarity, right? I think a lot of times people have a general idea of what they're wanting, they want to do, but like, Unfortunately, like without clarity, without specificity, like just the specifics of what the thing you want to do looks like, like you have to think about it like this. Look at something that you want as if it's a future based version of you, right? Like, what does it look like? What does it feel like? What do you, what are the what are the things associated with it that you could paint a real picture? Like, basically, think about it like this. If you could jump forward a year from now and you identify with the person inside of that mindset what does it look like for them? Right? Like that's how you get ultimate clarity, right? Once you get the clarity aside and you start figuring out like what it really looks like to drive that kind of sense, right. And to have that kind of reality painted for yourself, then you have to figure out how to get there one step at a time. A lot of people look at the journey of like the things that they need to change, like whether they're on a fitness journey or a nutrition journey, a business journey, like whatever journey it is that's associated with mindset that has some kind of physical aspect to it. Like it's something you're going to have to do, right? A lot of people look at it and they're like, that's just too far away because their relationship with time honestly sucks, right? Most people really do undervalue what they could do in a year, but overvalue what they could do in a day. And at the end of the day, like there's a famous saying that says, if time is the reason you're not going to do something, you might as well do it anyway, because the time is going to pass irregardless of if you do the thing that you need to, right? And so many people look at things inside of like a week, inside of two weeks and say, I can't do that because that's too much. Like there's too much time that's going to pass. But like in the, at the end of the day, like the, the time really is going to pass on its own. And like, I know I said it twice, but like, there's people that really will, you know, lock themselves in because of the time constraint. Like at the end of the day, the time doesn't mean shit. Like it literally does not mean shit inside of the process. You need to figure out once you have clarity and you paint that reality of a picture of like, this is what it looks like to actually do this thing. What does it look like to get yourself one step closer every day? Like if every single day you had to take one single step towards that vision whatever that vision is like what would that look like and some days might be better than others some days you might decide to take two or three steps right so to give you an idea of like what this looks like for me like i decided over 100 days ago now that i wanted to spend 100 days devoted to youtube i was going to make 100 videos and a lot of them are going to suck. And here's the cool part about it. Like at the end of the day, like most people don't really give a shit about what your first 50 videos look like. A lot of people don't watch them. And I'll promise you, like a lot of people didn't watch them. Like, but then what I did for myself was like, at some point in the journey, like you have to remind yourself that like, it's going to get difficult. You're going to have to remind yourself of what you started. And one trick that worked for me, and I didn't even realize this until like, I started learning more about the process was I would go to a lot of my favorite like YouTube channels. Like I don't really consume a lot because I feel like that that kind of deters my voice. And that's something I've learned in the process. But I'll go to like people that I like. And once you search their videos, you can go latest, popular, oldest. And I click oldest just because I want to like a mental like recap of like, how long have they been doing this? Right. And I see some of these people like nine years, 10 years, 15 years. And I'm like, dude, I'm doing this for like 100 days. Right. Like I'm online with them. And I'm doing this for a hundred days. They've been doing this for 365 times 10, right? It's ridiculous. But at the end of the day, it's like, that was my journey. Like, what did I do every single day? So every day I, I made a video, then I realized how to make the videos look better. Then I realized how to make the thumbnails look better. Then I started to kind of get a vibe and don't get me wrong. Like I'm not there yet. I'm still, it's still a learning process. Like content creation is a learning process. Like building out my business inner circle is a learning process. Like it's a learning process along the way. I know a lot of things in my life. Like I, I've been doing sales and sales leadership for like you know 17 years i've sold a ton a ton of revenue over the course of the 17 years it's just like it's hard to put a number on it but like 
just because you decide to take on a new route of something doesn't mean your experience can't carry with you. Like that's the discipline you need. Like that's, that's if you've done anything for a certain amount of time and you have it in you to actually grow and take these steps. So I like, I really do urge you like, fuck the time, forget the time in itself, right? Take one step every day towards that vision of yourself. Because once you identify, and this is something I learned from the book atomic habits, but once you identify with what that future based habit is, it's the difference of saying I don't smoke anymore and I'm not a smoker, right? Like I read that in a book somewhere and it was it was kind of like profound to read it like that. But like the second you say I don't smoke anymore, you're still actively fighting the addiction of smoking. But the second you say I'm not a smoker, you no longer identify with that version of yourself that existed, right? Like I I might not say like I'm a YouTuber yet or whatever, but um, you know, it's definitely a process, right? It's things that you learn inside of the systems. So one step every day, getting you closer. And as you take that journey and as you start to figure out what that looks like and get to that place that you've identified with in the future that aligns with what you want, you'll start to get better along the way. You'll start to pick up better habits. You'll start to pick up better systems and you'll make better decisions. And the cool thing about it is you're doing it so often, think about it so often and, and engaging in it so often that you're going to find that your brain literally spits out things to make the journey a little bit easier along the way. Like once it realizes that like, hey, I, I can't break this habit despite all the negativity I'm throwing at this person, it's going to be like, all right, cool. We're obviously not going to get hurt or injured or, or in danger from this thing. So let's start giving ideas to make this work because now we've aligned with something that we believe this is going to work, right? So that's essentially what it looks like. But again, if you like the stuff on the channel, definitely like, subscribe, and share. If you want to figure out what it looks like to actually work with me inside of Inner Circle and figure out what that means for you, whether you're looking to get into sales, you know, you want to up your sales game, figure out what it looks like because a lot of what I do inside of there is like teaching people how to start a company through drop servicing and arbitrage. Definitely big things that are going to come on this channel um, in the near future, but I'm still very much about the mindset and like what it looks like to get your mind right because there's a reason a lot of courses and content out there starts with mindset. If you can't get your mindset right, a lot of things are just that much more difficult. So I like to avoid that and get it to a place where it just makes more sense, which is why so much more content really aligns with that. But if you want to figure out how to up your sales game, figure out what that looks like, figure out how to start a business through drop servicing, definitely drop me a comment in, in, in the bio below. There's a link in there. There's every one of my socials in there. Um, and just drop me the word DM and then we'll figure out what it looks like and I'll help in any way I can. But I'll catch you guys later.